To start this project, you're going to need a wire wreath form, fold the mop in half, cut the mop in half. Now what I have here is four mops that I have cut in half. I'm gonna take half of the mop and I'm gonna add a little hot glue in here, fold the bottom up and press that into place and then folding the top part down and I'll need to hold these in place until they cool completely. Next, I'll be using some battery operated LED lights. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue all of that wire into place. I'm going to flip the reed form over and I'm going to place those bulbs onto the wire wreath form. And I hope this inspires you to create a dollar store winter wreath of your own. You'll take a coffee filter, place the center at the bottom, squeeze up the filter to make a flower shape, and twist the bottom to hold in place. I started by hot gluing the twisted coffee filters onto the wreath working around in a circle until it was as full as I wanted it to be. I added some battery operated LED cool lights, traced the letters onto cardboard, and then cut them out. Attach the filters to the letter. I then hot glued some of the twisted coffee filters onto the letter. I added my wreath from before to the center to be the O and created the word joy. To start this project, what I want to do is take my small tubes and I want to fold them in half. And I just want to cut off little strips of my tube until I have it all cut apart. Now to assemble my snowflakes, I want to start with a big dollop of glue right in the center here. And then I'm going to start sticking in the edges of my paper tube. So I've got it folded in half and I'm going to start popping these in between my bigger sections and I'm going to add just a second layer of that folded paper tube, flip it over and just peel that wax paper right off of that dab of hot glue on the bottom. And I'm going to take some craft glue, paint this glue all over the edge of my snowflake. I'm going to dip it into my sparkle, roll it around. So once this is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. These beautiful winter snowflakes couldn't have been easier to make. This is a foam wreath form here. Start gluing these ping pong balls just in the center. I'm actually going to work on the outside as well. Here's the weight acrylic paint that I'm going to use. Just give it a quick coat. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. So now my paint is all dry here. I'm actually going to glue those down here and create a second layer. I'm just going to take some white glue, randomly add some down, smooth glue all the way around. So I'm gonna take that fake snow and pile it on top of our glued area. I'm just gonna take a little bit of ribbon and there you go, I'm just gonna hang that on my door. So I have some zip ties or cable ties and I'm just gonna wrap these around my railing and around my pool noodle and pull it right through there. So now I have that whole railing covered with the pool noodles. So I'm gonna tuck a white pipe cleaner underneath my zip tie and then pull it up. Wrap right around my silver garland right here. Trim off my pipe cleaners really close like so. I picked up four of these little white Christmas trees. I'm gonna take the little base off and make sure you pull all of those pieces up using a cable tie. Tuck these right underneath my garland. Poke these right into our pool noodle. And here we are with our beautiful winter garland on our staircase. First, we're gonna start with these large tongue depressors and we're gonna cut those in half. And then we grabbed an embroidery hoop and we're gonna take those little pieces of wood that we cut in half and we're gonna glue them at the bottom. This is gonna be the base of our centerpiece. Next, I grabbed this little wood tray. I hot glued that in. Then I grabbed my little ornaments and glued them up one side. Then I grabbed one of my flowers. Then I grabbed this little pearl branch and held that down with a floral wire and made a cute little bow. And we're gonna wrap those twinkle lights all the way around. And this turned out spectacular. I love the way this turned out. First, we're gonna start with this nine foot flocked garland. So now that we have about a 36 inch piece of garland, fluff out your reeds and your garlands and your Christmas trees. So once you snip down one bay leaf, so we're just taking these, holding them at the tip, hot gluing them in place. So our final piece of that bay leaf, we'll place on the end. So we'll just start by placing three of these in. 
and then just poke them in. And we can start hot gluing these in place too. So now we just have this very narrow ribbon, and then I'm just gonna take a little leftover piece of pipe cleaner, wrap it around. I'm using a black pipe cleaner today, dipping it in your glue skillet. You can poke that wherever you find it necessary. You can also cut those at an angle. And so this piece is a little long, so I'll just snip that off. And look at how pretty this looks. Be sure to grab a can of spray foam. So you want to start off fairly small and it's going to start filling. Make these however you'd like. So we want to make a bunch of these and then we're just going to let these dry overnight. Once your pieces are about halfway dry, I like to peel them up at that point. And what I want to do is add some texture to the back side. Once your foam popcorn pieces are all ready and dry, you're just going to poke the skewer right through the foam. Okay, so I've got this on my skewer and I'm gonna start stringing my popcorn balls. Pull my twine right out the other side and just string it right through your um, baubles here. This giant popcorn garland was so fun to make and there are so many ways you can use it around the holidays. So we're gonna start with the outline of a snowflake and then you're gonna cut four nine inch dowels, lay out our first 18 inch dowel. I'm gonna use hot glue and you're gonna rotate the dowel to you get a good angle and it's up against the wood here. And put one staple in the top right here. We're gonna do the same on this side. Push it right up against there and then we'll put a staple in right there. On these little two inch dowels, the same thing. And this thing has come together real nice. We're gonna add a little bit more glue on the back side here just to hold it together. And there it is, the final snowflakes. I'm gonna start out by just um, removing the hanger off of the top of it, okay? Just went around and cut it in little pieces first, and then, yeah, then they'll come off. Now I have a quarter inch dowel, and then we're gonna turn this over, and because this is white, you can kind of see, mark that with my finger and pull the dowel rod out. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to take a glue gun and melt a hole in this. So we're gonna put that right through there and you're just gonna to wanna to wedge these down in your pot. Let's try it right now. There we are. Now I have some buffalo snow and I'm just gonna tuck this all around here to cover this styrofoam. Melt a tiny little hole in here. These are just sticks I picked up in my yard. I found this um, snowman hat ornament. I'm just gonna push that right on to there. So I'm gonna put plenty of hot glue in there. My artificial carrot and go about right here and cut it. So I'm gonna use the hot glue and then we're gonna give him a nose. And I'm just gonna wrap that around our little snowman's neck. Have fun making a snowman of your own. Get creative, okay?